further. I'm now joined in the studio by uh, Louis Boto, who's the associate, uh, is an associate in the uh, tax and exchange control practice. Thanks very much for joining us and welcome to the program. Thank you, Peter. I thought carbon taxes were for the European countries and that um, African nations, we've been exempt because we're generally clean by and large. Yeah, if, if only that were the case. Mm. Um, so it's, as a bit of background, of course, yeah. South Africa has certain, certain obligations under the Paris Agreement uh, to reduce our, our carbon emissions. And essentially, the carbon tax legislation, which has been in the pipeline for uh, quite a number of years, um, will now come into effect in an attempt for South Africa to meet um, our obligations under the Paris Agreement. All right. So um, uh, uh, companies straight away will probably think, hang on, you know, this is another way for the tax, the tax man to sneak in another tax instead of saying tax is going up by 2%. Let's go through this little vehicle. Is this what's really happening, or is this standard practice that we're seeing worldwide now? It, it's difficult to say, because on the one hand, obviously, the, the issue of climate change is very prevalent. Um, it is not only in developed countries that one has carbon taxes. For example, developing countries like Chile and Mexico have also introduced a carbon tax. Um, so on the one hand, some people who say, well, who, who question, you know, whether with the tax monies are being used correctly and efficiently and whether there are too many taxes already might say like you say is it not a way of indirecting indirectly taxing us more um, others will say well uh, th there is a legitimate aim here and so on obviously it, it does remain to be seen what the actual effect of it will be once it once it comes into effect is it easy to measure i'm thinking you know escom maybe the kind of you can see but other companies it, it might be a small byproduct, and how do they measure emissions? It is quite a tricky process, but essentially the Department of Environmental Affairs has prescribed regulations that deal with the sort of standard measurement procedures that must be used in order to measure that. And the, the way in which it is measured and so forth will depend typically on the industry uh, in which a company operates. Uh, the industry in which a company operates will also, uh, in most cases, affect the amount of carbon tax uh, that would be payable by, by that company. All right, so a small company in this industry and a huge company in the industry, how do they work it out? Well, well so, so likely yeah. what they would do, so there, there are certain, sort of, certain uh, measurement requirements, certain mm -hmm. um, installations that, that has to, have to be made by those, by those companies, which would then be used to sort of benchmark or measure what, what, their, what their carbon tax liability would be. The one benefit, though, is that because of the way that, that the carbon tax is being phased in, is that although it's being set at a standard uh, rate of 120 rand uh, per tonne of CO2 emissions, initially what's going to happen is there's going to be a 60% allowance for all companies. So the maximum that a company will end up paying is uh, 48 rand per tonne of, of CO2 emissions, initially at least in the initial period, and that could come down. Can we really afford it? You know, I mean, especially in Africa where uh, a lot of our energy comes from high carbon emit emitting yeah. uh, uh, substances. Uh, it's, a, it's a difficult question, obviously. You know, it, it, there is obviously the issue of, of the energy mix. There's the issue of whether, you know, what, what the cheapest way and most efficient way is for us to, to generate electricity and so on. Um, I, th I think what I think what we what we can say is the fact that it's been more prevalent uh, in developing countries, oh, sorry, excuse me, in developed countries as opposed to developing countries, sort of tells you part of the part of the problem is that it's it's harder for developing countries to afford that. Um, like I said, they've they've set it set it at what they believe to be a relatively low rate initially. Hopefully, it won't have uh, you know unintended consequences, um, you know, divestment yeah. or you know too much of a, of a further burden on companies, um, which obviously that, that would not, would so, not be So great. the idea, I guess, at the end of it is to try and reduce carbon emissions at the end of it. So companies will say, hang on, for me to pay less tax, I must now be more environmentally friendly. Is that the intended behavior? Yes, that, that is yeah. definitely part of it. And, and certainly the provisions of the Carbon Tax Act now, as it is, or Carbon Tax Bill, mm -hmm. will still be signed by the president and passed by the lower house. But uh, yeah, it, it should have that effect because if you, if you look at the way the allowances are structured, we start with uh, there'll be a 60% allowance for all companies. And then the best example I can use is maybe the so-called carbon offset allowance, which essentially is a 10% allowance granted mm -hmm. for entities that generate so-called uh, that, gen that uh, invest in yeah. products that generate so-called carbon credits. And they can use those credits 
to reduce their carbon tax liability. All right, and uh, we've run out of time, but very briefly, what's the biggest fear or concern that you have as someone who deals with this every single day? I think there are two main issues. Mm -hmm. I think on the one side, for those companies that are going to be taxed, uh, have to pay carbon tax, it's an additional administ administrative burden because they don't know they have to administer that. This put systems in place in order to, to, to measure the tax, how it must be paid, some metric returns and so forth. And secondly, the, the obvious issue is the cash outflow. You know, mm -hmm. entities that are in certain industries, if you look, for example, the construction industry, there are some challenges there. Uh, entities in that industry might end up paying additional carbon tax. Yes, come. <laughs> They are, well, my, the mining industry, <laughs> so it's, it's yeah. industries being taxed there by, mm. you know, if they're already facing financial difficulty, it, unfortunately it, it, it might not help the problem. Ho hopefully uh, in a few years' time we have a positive conversation mm. about this and, the, and there are some good things to look back All on. All right. Well, thanks very much indeed uh, for bringing this to our attention and uh, let's see how it plays out. But thanks so much indeed for starting the conversation. I think an important one to have for sure. Thank you, Peter. Thanks so much for your time.